Hello everyone and welcome to Five Levels channel. I'm very sorry for being away for a while now, but here I am today with a new video. So if you're in the market for a Gen 4 SSD NVMe drive and you're wondering uh, if you can install it on an old motherboard that has a Gen 3 PCIe slots on it and if, you want, if you're wondering if it's compatible or not and you want to see what kind of a speed you will get, you came to the right video. So stick around. Hey guys, so this is the NVMe SSD. Uh, it is the WD Black SN850X. Uh, it is uh, the black gaming drive from Western Digital. Uh, this kind of NVMe drives comes into two models that I am aware of. Uh, there are two 4TB models that are Gen 4. Uh, these models, the difference between them are that here it says SN850X, but the other model says sn 850 P instead of X. The difference is that the other model is being marketed as PS5 compatible. It also comes with a heatsink ready built on it. However, this one comes a little bit cheaper than that and it also comes without a heatsink. I ordered the 4TB from Amazon because I found a good deal on it. Uh, I think that on Black Friday it might even go uh, with a lower price but I'm not sure about that. However, at around this time, it has a uh, good deal and they have it discounted than the old original, original price. So I got it for my uh, PC. Uh, another thing that I decided to get is the uh, Ice PC heatsink cooler for the NVMe SSD because, as I mentioned, does not come with a ready built heatsink. We'll, we'll unbox both of them, but let me start with the SSD first. It comes with a very simple packaging, small packaging, black design, I like that. And yeah, that's it. Let's see what's inside the box. There is nothing inside, so let me just put that away. And this is the drive itself. You will be introduced with the drive as well as a user manual. And this is the drive. This is honestly the first time that I purchase an NVMe M.2 drive uh, because I have an older generation motherboard, it is a Gen 3, so I'm going to make a video where I will uh, do some testing on how the speed is if I install this on a Gen 3 uh, motherboard because as you can see here it says it's a Gen 4 uh, M.2 drive. Uh, and I have a Gen 3 PCIe slot motherboard, uh, but they say that it's a backward compatible, so we'll see how much speed we will get out of this M.2 drive. It's very small. And yeah, that's about it. Okay, so this is the heatsink that I'm going to install on the uh, WD uh, M.2 drive. I found this on Amazon also. Uh, I've been searching for a while for a heatsink and this is the the one that I liked. So let's hope it does the job and like give me a good temperature uh, and a good performance if when I install it on the M.2 drive. It comes with some small screws. It also comes with a screwdriver for these screws. And this is the heatsink. It kind of has some weight to it. I don't know what it's made of. I think it's metal or aluminium. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it comes with some pads and some sort of a metal base. This is the thermal pad, number one. This is number two, three, four. So two pink pads and two blue pads. So a total of four. And I'm gonna show you later on the video on how to install this uh, heatsink on the M.2 drive. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do it for this video. I'm going to make this video very quick, uh, just uh, reviewing the uh, M.2 and the speeds that it will offer. But then I'm going to make another separate video on how to install this heatsink on this M.2 drive. Moving on to the part of the video where I'm going to showcase the speed test of this M.2 drive. Now that I have installed the heatsink and the drive on my motherboard, just a disclaimer, my motherboard is an old motherboard with a PCIe Gen 3 slots. So um, I installed it and I have assigned a letter for the drive and I formatted my PC and installed my Windows 10 Pro on my C drive, which is 
uh, which represents the uh, NVMe M.2 4TB drive. Okay, so let me open Crystal Disk. It's an open source free software that gives you some stats about your drive's speed test. Uh, as for the counts, I'm going to choose three for the sake of not making this video longer. And here we will choose the uh, drive letter and the drive that we would like to test. So as you can see, I have a couple of drives here. And this is the C drive, which is the uh, uh, drive that I have installed my Windows on. And this is the drive that we are showcasing in this video, which is the 4TB NVMe M.2 drive. I'm going to first do a speed test on the NVMe and then I'm going to do a speed test on my other drives. I'll just pick one of them as they are all hard drives. They are the old optical HDD drives and we will compare the speed and we'll see the stats about how this uh, performs. Okay, I have clicked on uh, that button to start the test. Nice. I mean, 3,439 for for an old PC with an old Gen 3 motherboard. That's quite good, to be honest. It's a great jump, you know, from uh, an old SSD drive. And uh, I, I used to be using an old uh, standard SSD drive. And now I have installed my Windows on the M.2. And I can see that there's a huge difference when it comes to uh, games loading and file transfer. Uh, this includes also the production work that I do when I like work on editing videos on Adobe softwares or like designing and, you know, in general usage. Uh, I can definitely feel the difference when I uh, transitioned uh, from a standard SSD drive to a M.2 NVMe SSD drive. And I have also been using a lot of uh, HDDs, optical drives, and they are popular of being cheap and slow, but they're good when you have a server as I am using them mostly for storage and backup uh, in my server. So here are the results, and now it will uh, go to the testing of the write speed. Uh, as you can see, the read speed is really good, and I have never seen a speed like that on my PC. And the good thing is when you buy a Gen 4 uh, M.2 drive, uh, it is a backward compatible uh, drive. And if you decide to upgrade in the near future, you won't need to like buy any new drive or anything because you will still be future proofed uh, when you like decide to build a new computer or a new PC. Uh, as you can see, the write speed is also very fast compared to the old drives that I used to have. So here it is. I hope that uh, these tests are helping you and once uh, this uh, test is done I'm going to uh, do another speed test on a standard uh, SSD drive. Alright guys so now that the speed test is done these are the stats and the results uh, keep them uh, referenced and you want to screenshot the screen so that you have a uh, referenced feedback on how this performs and now I'm gonna do the speed test for my SSD drive which is the letter S Yes, this is my old standard SSD drive, and now I'm going to do the speed test on it. As you can see, the first speed test shows that it went, uh, as far as reading speed, uh, it went to 555 MB, and uh, you saw how it performed uh, in the pre previous test. Uh, it showed you a really big transition and really a uh, huge difference as far as the speed. And it's definitely worth upgrading if you're uh, facing issues with a slow computer, slow loading and general usage. I definitely recommend that you use a MVM.2 if your motherboard supports it. Uh, usually the old motherboards uh, supports Gen 3 and the new motherboards supports Gen 4. Of course with Gen 4 you're going to get an even higher speed uh, and this uh, SSD that uh, I have showcased in this video has a speed of like up to uh, 7000 MB which is a really good speed uh, when you upgrade your PC. And now let's wait for the right speed and see the final result. All right, now that the speed test for the standard SSD drive is done, you can see the difference of these read and write speed. And I really hope that this tutorial and this unboxing, this whole video helped you. And if you're interested in picking up any of the items that I have showcased in this video, I'm going to leave affiliate links in the description. Please use them to help support the channel. And now we have reached the end of this video. And until next time, stay safe.